Hi, my name is Jenny and in today's video I want to show you a very special German take on a dive watch, the Nomos Club Neomatic. By the end of this video you will know exactly why this perhaps might be the most unpretentious dive watch of the past couple of years based on the following five things, so let's get started. So let's first have a look at the strap, which isn't your usual choice when going for a dive, I would say. And here's also where I would like to give you my first hot take for this video. Nowadays, and for most people, dive watches aren't for diving, but simply just for swimming. A watch, you know, you can bring with you on holiday and you do not have to worry about water damage. So yeah, I said it. And so this Nomos comes with a light gray fabric strap. It feels flexible, but robust enough and is available in different sizes. This one you see right here is the smallest though. It's the size extra small. The pin buckle clasp is hand polished and you can already tell that this is a Nomos just by looking at it. It is a very minimalist buckle and also a very good one too, because thanks to its shape, you don't have to like, you know, fumble around with it a lot. And I mean, it's the small things, you know. And of course it is suitable to be worn while swimming, though I have to say that a wet fabric strap isn't the nicest feeling. It feels as nice as a wet sleeve after washing your hands, but yeah. At first I wasn't sure what exactly it was that I love about this strap, but now I am sure it's because of two things. The first one is its unique color. I can't say that I'm super deep into the whole NATO or like fabric strap niche, but what I haven't seen so far is one in this specific color. It's a very cool toned, light gray, almost off white strap, and it goes incredibly well with the rest of the watch. And secondly, I really like those horizontal, I don't know, like weaving lines. They are very fine and well-made, and I think that's one of the main reasons as to why, all things considered, this is a, such a great watch, but I'll explain this at the end of this video. Because now I want to get to the point and number two, the case shape of this watch, because this is both a blessing and a curse. So let's get to the curse part first with most Nomos watches and unfortunately with this one too. I have to mention the abnormally long lugs in relation to the rest of the case. It is a well-known Nomos characteristic and oftentimes though a watch would work diameter wise, is still too big due to its lug to lug, which makes the case hang off of your wrist. I mean, look at the Tangente here with a diameter of only 35 millimeter or this Orion with 38 millimeter. Both reasonably small in terms of diameter, but those lugs. And so this Club Neomatic has a diameter of only 37 millimeter and a height of nine millimeter, but a lug to lug of 49 millimeter. And I think that is what makes it almost a bit too big for my wrist. So I'd say it would not be enormous if it wasn't for the pronounced lugs, but I still wish they would either, you know, curve them down a bit more or just make them shorter. But enough of that. Now I want to get to the great part about it and that is its simplicity and here's why. First up, it's polished entirely, which means that it is not only shiny enough to be worn at all kinds of occasions, it is also comparably easy to polish it yourself should you find some, you know, scratches you do not want to see anymore. Because sometimes when a watch has a more complex type of finishing, you would be better off leaving it to a professional to make your watch case look nice again. And then there's also the fact that this is a swim friendly watch with a small height and also an exhibition case back through which you can see the movement that I will talk about in a minute. The case spec carries one of my all-time in-series engravings. That little whale here is what lets you know that this is water resistant up to 200 meter. Point number three has to be the dial and it's a dial I didn't know I would learn to love so much. This might sound very dumb because I mean what's the point of wearing a watch if you are having a hard time telling the time with it but you know there are some watch dials out there on some very popular watches that aren't the easiest to read because of the design or color choice but this club pneumatic is so easy and quick to read and i really appreciate that simplicity of the dial we have to thank nomos's bauhaus roots for that because everything on this dial has been streamlined no serifs on the lettering no unnecessary embellishments every line no matter if it is a hand or an hour marker remains consistent and perhaps some might say that this pop of color, you know, the light blue and orange in here might be a bit out of character, but I see them as a more, you know, modern take on the classic Bauhaus colors such as blue and red. There's also this a very simple source of harmony on the watch dial and that is its symmetry. It is an overall very calming, but in no way boring watch dial, which isn't the easiest thing to pull off when it comes to a white based dial in my opinion, but Nomos really exceeds in that department. 
And all of this continues on the backside of this watch. And like I mentioned, it has an exhibition case back. What you can see here is Namos's own in-house caliber, the DUW301. It's an automatic movement and with a height of only 3.2 millimeter, the main reason as to why this watch remains so thin and sleek. It has its own swing system with a tempered blue spring and finishing details you can only see in watches from Glashütte in Germany. The three-quarter plate, the beautiful Glashütte ribbing or the Nomos Perlage, for example. The skeletonized rotor is another cool detail. I almost want to say that it looks playful, which is unusual on a watch that feels so heavily influenced by all things Bauhaus, but yeah, I think it works. It has a power reserve of 43 hours, which might be the major con to me here because 43 hours really isn't a lot of on a modern watch. And so lastly, point number five is everything mentioned above combined, which results in something intangible. And that is the understatement of this watch. The Club Neomatic combines all of these little details like the unusual fabric strap, a see-through case back, a water resistance of up to 200 meter, this Bauhaus inspired dial, a rather elegant case shape, and infuses it with a simplicity that is honestly really refreshing to see. And that makes this watch one of the most unpretentious dive watches I've seen so far. It doesn't pretend to be this you know, beast of a watch that you need to wear when you go deep dive in the Mariana Trench, because most of us simply never professionally deep dive with our watches, and that's okay. I think Nomos understood the assignment here. Creating a modern dive watch doesn't need to be a dive watch in the literal sense anymore. What it needs to be is water resistant, legible and, you know, robust, but also beautiful and easy to wear whenever. Because in today's time, we want things to play by our rules and not the other way around. I can wear this Nomos on holidays, but I can also put it on when going out with friends or being out for a nice dinner. I think this would really feel out of place, to be honest. And that is it. Now you know the five things that make this watch the most unpretentious diver I've seen in a, a long time. But I am sure there are more watches like this out there. And that's why now it is your turn. Let me know in the comments down below not only what you think of this Nomos, but I'd also like to hear your suggestions to a similar diver, perhaps not only in style, but also in the concept itself. And so if you have enjoyed this video, you can give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this one, you can subscribe to my channel and then I will see you in my next one. Bye.